Hi, this is Brittany Watkins, and welcome today to today's show where we are going to be talking about the weight loss blocker, My Feelings Are in the Food. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you will know that there's seven major weight loss blockers. And today, I'm going to be interviewing Sonia, who has a food craving for bread. And I know bread is a really common one um, that a lot of people have. So, this is going to be a really interesting interview today. Um, and you're going to see how we um, how we form these connections to food, where they come from, and then in the end, I'm actually going to take her through an exercise so that she can overcome her craving for bread. So um, stay tuned. Thanks for being here. Sonia? Yes. <laughs> so this, this is your go-to food, right? The, this bread? Yeah. And is it this type of bread with the baguette and kind of crunchy on the outside, uh, soft on the inside? Yes. That's your favorite? It's my favorite. Okay. <laughs> Um, and so on a scale from 0 to 10, 0 being no craving at all and 10 being like the highest it could possibly be, what would you say your desire for this is right now? 10. A 10 right now. Okay, yeah. cool, because it's just here. It's kind of like tempting you, right? Yeah. Okay. Since I bought it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, so we're going to put this on the ground, and I'm going to ask her some questions about this, and then we'll come back to this in a minute. Food cravings and emotional eating are actually two different things. Um, they're actually two different problems. A food craving is is by definition anything that you, um, if you buy, you can't keep it in the house without eating it. It's a problem that so many people have, and I know that this can be so frustrating. I know for me, mine was, um, well, I had a lot of them, but mine was chocolate and uh, cookies. And, you know, it's just, it's really frustrating because, you know, especially if you have a family or if you have a partner that likes to eat those kind of things, it can be really frustrating having those things around. And so my goal is to help you make peace with these foods so that you can be around them and not feel this temptation to have to have them. Um, all right. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to find out where this comes from. Why can't I control myself around bread, right? Yeah, because sometimes it's too much. Yeah. yeah, it's too much. And if you're at a restaurant and there's bread on the table, you want to be able to eat your meal and not fill up on bread first, right? And yeah. Sonia, one of the questions that I always ask people when they have uncontrollable food cravings for specific foods is what are your first memories of eating this food? So if you think about bread and, you know, your earliest memories of eating bread, what, what comes to mind? My family, when we had supper, uh, with my parents and my uh, brother and my two sisters, my two grandmas at that time. So it was like a family reunion for every day, you know, after work, after school. Was, that was the time then we were all together. And so that's very common. That's actually what you'll find is that a lot of people will say, they'll immediately think back to a time that's really positive, that was really enjoyable or pleasurable. So what happens um, when we have really positive memories like this um, is that we actually, we connect those good feelings with this food. So whenever you're having a bad day, you're stressed out, you get in a fight with your boss, and you just want something to make you feel happy or just like a little pick-me-up. And so we'll eat these foods as a way of subconsciously feeling really good. Um, it'll trigger all of those subconscious feelings and emotions. So the only thing that we have to do is we have to tell your brain that those good feelings actually come from memories. They don't come from the food. And so what we do is we will, we will take the feelings out of the food and we'll give them back to the people that they came from in the memories that they came from. And so what we're telling your brain is that it's safe to just feel all these good feelings from that memory. We don't have to eat this food in order to feel the memory. Does that make sense? Yeah, a lot. You said your craving for this was a 10. Why don't you break this open? Why don't you open it and like even have a little bite? And maybe, maybe your craving will go to an 11. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, right now probably. Um, so it's the, it's the chunky part. It's the crunchy mm, part. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Great. Okay, good. <laughs> so I want, so just for you guys at home, I want you to pay attention to Sonia's face. <laughs> See, look how excited she is and how like, oh, she's like so happy that she's able to eat this bread, right? That's a sign that you have a lot of emotions in this food, right? That the food isn't just food. Because when you eat just food and it doesn't have these emotions, like I bet you don't do the same thing when you eat tomatoes. Right? I don't know. Yeah. No. What we're going to do, and um, I already got Sonia's permission here, but I'm actually going to tap on her. Sonia's new to tapping, and so um, 
it'll she'll be more focused and um, she'll have a better experience if she's not worried about what point to tap on and things like that so I'm gonna do the tapping for her so what I want you to do is I want you to feel all those good feelings and just with your imagination what I want you to do is I want you to scoop those feelings out of the bread and I want you to bring them into your heart and sometimes if you just kind of have to imagine it here but just feel all those good feelings and scoop them out and bring them into your heart and then what we're gonna do is you're gonna close your eyes and those feelings are gonna become a, a ball of white light Okay? okay, we're going to pick up the feelings out of the bread and we're going to just bring them into our heart. You got that? Sometimes yeah. people need to do it a couple of times. So if you, feel, if you find that you need to do that a couple of times, you can scoop down and bring it in a couple of times. I want you to feel this white light. And what we're going to do is we're going to pass this ball of white light to someone that you really love during that time. Okay? So I want you to pick someone who, who's popping out as one of the most important people for you to pass this ball of white light to. My sister, the little one. The little sister. Okay, yeah. good. So I want you to go back in time and close your eyes. And what I want you to do is I want you to be there at the dinner table. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start tapping, tapping on you, okay? And what I want you to do as I tap through the points is I just want you to pass this ball of light from your heart to your little sister's heart. And see her reaction and see how she's so excited to receive this from you and how she loves it so much. And she's thanking you so much for sending her this beautiful feeling. And then watch as she sends this ball of light from her heart back to your heart. So remember what that bread tastes like in your mind. Feel all those good feelings. Feel that bread feeling. And then pass the ball of light from your heart to your little sister's heart. Tasting the bread in your mind, feeling all those good feelings. Just keep passing this ball of light from your heart to her heart from her heart to your heart. And then we're going to pass it, the ball of light to somebody else now. So I want you to look now around the room and I want you to tell me who the next person is that you want to pass this ball of light to. My dad. Great. Okay, so look at your dad and feel all these good feelings, that good bread feeling. And just pass this ball of light from your heart to your dad's heart. And from your dad's heart to your heart. From your heart to your dad's heart. So how did that feel for you? I noticed that, did you, um, how did it feel to pass the ball of light to your father? Happier than pass it to my sister. Yeah, it felt, it felt good to connect with him in that yes. way, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if we're going to pass this ball of light to somebody else, who would the next person be? My mom. Your mom. Okay, great. All right. So, um, so again, so remember the bread. Maybe we need to bring the bread here. So just feel all the good feelings. So feel what's left. So w okay. whatever is left, feel all those good feelings from the bread. And I want you to scoop those feelings out of the bread and again, bring them into your heart. Okay, great. And so feel as those good feelings become this big ball of white light. Remember what that, what the bread tastes like in your mind, that crunchiness and all the things that you really love about it. And I want you to pass this ball of light from your heart to your mom's heart. And notice how she is so happy to receive all of these good feelings from you, how she just loves sharing this time with you. She loves this memory of the family dinners also. And then have her pass this ball of light back to your heart. Um, okay, so let's just check and see what you're craving for the bread is now. Well, it's interesting because now I really, I mean, I, I, I can still eat it. Sure. But, you know, but yeah, it's, for me, it's like, oh, well, it's only bread. Ah, yeah. You know? And you'll even notice her face. She's not like, 
compared to the first time that she had the bread, her face, she just has more of a normal tomato look on her face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So why don't you have a taste? My wise tomato. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you have a taste? And um, usually what happens after we do the ball of light is there will be some aspects still. So there might be something that she still likes about it. So it might be the crunchy texture. It might be the softness inside. It might be the bready taste the bready taste the bready taste okay cool so we're just going to tap through the points and what i want you to do is i want you to close your eyes and i want you to keep thinking about that bready taste and repeat after me that bready taste okay, okay? So that bready taste that bready taste don't make me give this up don't make me this up <laughs> this is my favorite yeah it's my favorite don't take this away from me don't take this away from me it makes me so happy it makes me so happy how will i feel this happiness without my bread Oh, I don't feel this happiness without my breath. Good, okay, take a nice deep breath. So what's your craving for this now on a scale from zero to 10? No, it's okay. It's okay? Well, I can pass, I, don't, I can eat, but I don't really want it. You don't really want it? No. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Because <laughs> <laughs> you really loved this before. Well, yeah, but I, I'm okay. You're okay, okay, yeah. good, right on, high five. <laughs> what happened here? <laughs> well, what we did is we took the emotions out of the food and we gave them back to the people that they actually came from and from the memories that they came from. Your memories, um, they'll, they'll, they'll have certain triggers. They'll have mm -hmm. certain responses. So when you access a memory, you'll have a certain response. And so what we did is we just told your mind that this isn't the right response to have. If you want to feel these good feelings, go here, remember this time, remember these people, remember the love you had for them. You don't need to eat the bread to remember those feelings. So we didn't take your memories away. Mm -hmm. We didn't take your bread away. We just gave your brain different information. And we said, go here for those good feelings instead of here. Okay. Yeah. And you don't have to keep doing this over and over again. Mm -hmm. We just did it the one time, and um, the craving shouldn't come back. So yeah. for now, you Great. yeah, you, you should feel pretty in control around bread. And again, we're not going to make it so that you can never have it. You might really enjoy a few mm -hmm. slices of bread from time to time. I still eat chocolate. I still have cookies now and then. But I don't think about them. If they're in the house, I don't have to eat them. You know, if the if bread is around for you, you won't feel like you have to eat it. You'll just be able to enjoy it without feeling like you need to have it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Sure, of course. All right. Thanks. Thank you. All right. So thanks for watching. Hopefully that was interesting to you and you learned something and uh, you were tapping along at home. Um, if you don't know what tapping is or if you don't know how to tap, you can go to the website, BrittanyWatkins.com, and you can download a quick start guide that will show you exactly what we're doing here, the different uh, nine-point system, and we'll also give you some different tapping scripts so that you know what to say and how to do what we, what we just did here. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.